for a bag of kibble and you come out with three treats and a toy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kimmy. We're not in the attic. We are in the living room. We're still riding out this heat wave on Long Island. Today I want to share an Ulta haul with you, but first I want to tell you a little story. Ties into the haul. Okay, has this ever happened to you? It probably has. You go on the Ulta app, you find the item that you want, and it says it's in your local Ulta. You go to said Ulta, and they don't have it? Well, let me tell you something. Not only did they not have it, <laughs> no one's ever heard of it that works in the store, okay? Let me just set the scene for you. Let me tell you what happened. I went in, I'm looking all around, and a young lady, she comes up to me and she's like, well, um, can I help you with something? Now, everybody was nice at Ulta. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying this is what happened. I said, can you help me find this eye cream? She said, she's looking at it. I, she's like, oh, I tell her the brand and the eye cream I'm looking for. She's like, we don't carry that brand. Now, it's on the app. Now, it's weird. Let me tell you what it is. Okay. I was browsing. I was using the give me, not give me glow. What's the one? Hold on a second. I was using Glam Glow. I've talked about that a little bit on my channel. I was using the Glam Glow eye cream and I thought it was a beautiful product. It really does give you like illumination under your eyes. The problem is I did end up having an allergic reaction. Now that is nothing on the product. I have a nickel allergy. I'm going to assume there was mica in there to make your eyes like kind of like, I don't really know. I didn't look at the ingredients, but usually I am allergic to iron oxides and mica and I just had some kind of allergic reaction. But I thought the product itself was beautiful. I just get a lot of allergic reactions. So I was looking for something to replace it. So I found this product. It's called Kinship Bright Wave Energy Energizing Brightening Eye Cream. Now it's funny if you Google, if you, excuse me, not Google, if you put eye cream on the Ulta app, it's the second one that comes up right under the Glam Glow actually, which is kind of funny. And it says if you check in-store availability, not only does it say it's available at my local <laughs> at my local Ulta, it's also available for pickup. That's why it was so strange. So I asked her where it is, and she's like, oh, I've never heard of that. We don't sell that brand. So I show her on the app. And then she's like, is this Ulta's app? I was like, yes, this is Ulta's app. And so then she's like, well, it's probably online only. So I showed her how it's available in the store. Okay, so she goes to another woman, and she's like, have you ever heard of this? And she's like, no, I've never heard of this. So they go to this man who's doing like makeup and Mac. I guess maybe he was like a little, maybe a supervisor or something because it seemed like he was a supervisor. He's like, oh yeah, I've heard of it, but we only show the, um, the, we only sell the sunscreen. That's online only. So I'm showing them how it's available. They're all stumped. And then we went to like the manager of the store. <laughs> like they were trying to help me find it. They were. And the manager is like, we don't carry that brand. I was like, well, here it is on the app. She's like, oh, that's not, <laughs> is that our website? I was like, yes. She's like, oh, it's online only then. So th it was crazy. Anyway, I didn't get, needless to say, I, <laughs> I didn't get the eye cream. I never even found it in the store. And nobody knew what the hell I was talking about. Another reason you should watch my channel. I know products. Nobody else knows, apparently. Anyway. I have to say, it was really nice to be in Ulta. Again, I haven't gone in a long time. I think we've all gotten used to the online shopping. So I have to say, the last time I was in Ulta, it was like right after the pandemic, and it was kind of depressing. Like you had to wait to get in the store. You could only walk up one way on the aisle. Everything was wrapped up. There was no display. It was, it was just like sad, and I was like, I don't even want to go here anymore. So this was my first time in the store since then and now we're like past all that and like everybody was like shopping and you could go wherever you wanted and there was displays and it was just like fun again so it was just like really fun to just walk through Ulta even though I kind of know like what they have I kind of follow what's new in the makeup world it was just kind of nice to see it in person and I did end up doing a, a little bit more shopping than I thought I would my plan was to go get this eye cream and be out the door but that didn't happen. I ended up buying a bunch of stuff. So I want to share it with you. I will tell you right now, it's mostly skincare. I am trying to nail the perfect skincare routine. I'm still on a mission. 
so let me show you and what I purchased is a uh, lot some of it is prone to dry skin well at least like one thing I think is prone to dry skin so let's go ahead and get on with it guys it's not exciting the first thing I bought was cotton balls <laughs> cotton okay Cotton, for some reason, I cannot find it in the drugstores around me. The other day, I went to like three drugstores looking for cotton, and I couldn't find it. So I was like, oh my god, Ulta has it, so I bought it. Alright, that's not that exciting. Let's get into the good stuff. Okay, first of all, guys, this is so, so good. I have used this plenty of times before. I love Tree Hut. I absolutely love it if you have dry skin. It is like the best. This is the shave oil. Now, I have to tell you, I have had part of my legs lasered, so I don't like get a lot there, but like over the knee I do. So this is so nice. It makes your skin feel so good. It gives you such a nice shave and it smells amazing. This is the Tropic Glow, but they make a bunch of scents. The last time I was in Ulta, they had none. Now they have a ton. They have a bunch of scents. It's really, really good. Highly recommend. A couple of other things. Oh, also by Tree Hut, which I have used many, many times. This is the scrub, the sugar scrub. I absolutely, again, I love this stuff to exfoliate yourself. I always, I, I do it on my whole body. Some people I think just do it on their legs. I do it everywhere. I absolutely love it. This is the best scrub I have ever used and I've tried a few. They smell amazing. This is pineapple. Now I know they just came out with the pumpkin latte and another one like a coffee one, but guys, it's 95 degrees outside and I am not in the mood for anything pumpkin. This is the pineapple, and then I also picked up the Coco Cabana. It smells like a pina colada. I've used this one before. I've never used the pineapple. I've never actually even seen the pineapple in stock, but I'm telling you, they had a lot of them. So I was really, really excited. Doesn't take much to make me happy, guys. I picked up the Garnier Skin, Act Skin Active um, Cleansing Water. I really like this stuff, but I've only used the. A lot of times, I use the um, the one for my nickel allergy, the the um, for skin to peak. I use that most of the time, but I do like this. I have used it before, but I've used the pink one. The pink one is for dry skin. This is all-in-one brightening vitamin C. So I'm kind of excited to try this. I've never used this one before. This is a new product that I picked up. I'm looking for a retinol. This is called Bliss. I've never used anything from this company, but I've heard of it. So it's amino acids, peptides, squalene. That's usually good for dry skin, antioxidants. Um, pure retinol, advanced skin smoothing serum. And it wasn't very expensive. A lot of retinols are quite high. I've never used this, so I am going to be trying it out. I did not know that Ulta carries the body shop but they might have done it for a long time. I just didn't know it. The Body Shop, this stuff is, I bought the, this is actually for normal skin, 96 hour nourishing moisturizer. This is in Satsuma. It smells like oranges. Um, it's really, really nice. They had a lot of scents. I have found that this is very, very good for dry skin. And I really, really enjoy it. I think it's better than Bath & Body Works for dry skin. Even the body cream. I do like the body cream. I think it's good for dry skin. The lotion is not. I think the lotion is more for normal skin. But I actually like these a little bit better. And also, if you can find the body um, stuff in Trader Joe's, it's also pretty good. But this is very, very good. Okay, what's next? Okay, I have no idea, guys. I bought... I'm also looking for a facial cleanser for a dry skin. By the way, guys, if you know anything like a good retinol, good, good stuff for dry skin, good um, face washes for dry skin, please let me know in the comments below. This is Purity Made Simple by Philosophy. One step facial clean, clean cleanser with meadow foam seed oil. When life is complicated, purity is simple. Ain't that the truth? Okay, so I think this is for dry skin. I saw it somewhere. Oh, ideal for normal to dry skin types. So hopefully this is good because the one I'm using right now, I don't think it's really for dry skin. It's okay. And they were buy one, get one free. So hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, I'll give one away. Buy one, get one free, of course. 
you have to take advantage of that okay oh guys you know i am a fan i am such a fan of the dashing diva nails if you guys have never tried these they are so 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 good they're like little nail stickers they're so easy they have so many different um styles so I got this one, it's like black and gold, it's really cute. And I got this one, it's like a light blue. And these are the palettes. So they always come with like a solid color and then they come with a few that have like a design, but you can mix and match them or you can just wear the solid color. I will tell you right now, for some reason, when you buy just the solid color, they are not as good as the palettes. The palettes tend to stay on longer and just be a little bit better quality. And I don't know why that is, but I just buy palettes now because they always do come usually you can pick them up with some kind of solid color. So if you're into that, I would recommend them and I would recommend you get the palettes. They're just a little better and they're really, really fun. They have so many different ones. They had a lot at Ulta. Usually they don't. Usually they have like a couple of styles. This time they had a lot, but you can always go on their website. They have a ton. A ton. They have them for the holidays. They're just really, really fun. I love them. What else did I get? Oh, this is a new product for me. So this is the Kapari um tahitian vanilla melt i have used some products from kapari before and it's been like a hit or miss so but this is supposed to be this is the mother of all multitasking taskers is the ultimate all over skin moisturizing hair deep conditioning belly bombing skin soothing beauty in a bottle for your whole bod in a sweeter than ever pure tahitian vanilla scent so yeah guys, okay, this one's, <laughs> this one's not open, wait a second, I tried the one in the store. They have testers again, which is really fun. They obviously did away with that for a while. And it, this has kind of like a coconut oil consistency. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, this has a definite coconut oil consistency, so when I tried it in the store, if you don't know guys, coconut oil, when it's like in a hotter temperature, it is liquid. When it's in a warmer temperature, it, is, it becomes a solid. So this is very, very liquidy right now. It smells really good. This stuff smells like straight, pure coconut. It's supposed to be really, really good for the dry skin, so I'm kind of excited to use it. It's also supposed to be good for like, I guess the ends of your hair. Um, never put this kind of thing in the roots but I'm really really excited to use this I will let you guys know how it is I picked up another dashing diva this is a French manicure these are kind of hit or miss I've used these before this is like the salt like these little ones are like the solid color ones these are the palettes and this is white French manicure I've used like the different colors French manicure and they're they stay on okay, but not as good as the palettes, but I just wanted to try it because I thought it was a little interesting. Um, what else? We're getting to the bottom. Oh my God, another Dashing Diva, and I did buy the solid color in Lavender Sparkle. Okay, the last thing I picked up was, actually I picked up something else that I started using already, so it's not in this bag. I know what it is though. It's the Bumble and Bumble oil. So I'm going to be doing a video on beach waves because I've been not drying my hair in this weather and I've actually been getting a lot of compliments that people like it better like wavy. I like it better straight. I don't know. But it's just too damn hot. It has been so, it's just been such a freaking hot summer. I can't even think about going under the dryer. So I've just been doing a lot of beach waves. I've been doing experimenting with like three different brands. Um, the Bumble and Bumble because that's the one I usually used. Cuvée, I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure, but I saw that on Facebook. And then the, uh, hold on. Why can't I think of the name of anything today? My mind is not here. The Briogia. They came out with um, like a, they came out with like a beach wave and like a conditioner. So I was trying that. So all three I'm going to be comparing. So that's in a video coming up. So I did buy, the reason I bought the oil is because I find that the beach waves are not, they're a lot softer if you put some kind of conditioner in before you use the actual um, like texture spray. 
so I bought that one to go with the Bumble and Bumble. Um, but I've used that product before. It's actually very good. I do like it. It's pretty good if you have like drier hair on the drier side. And the last thing I bought was the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. So I saw this on like, what was it? I don't watch TikTok, I'm not a TikTok person. It must have been Instagram. And this is like all over the place. Now normally I don't like tubing mascaras. If you, A tubing mascara is a little different because it actually like kind of like forms tubes around your lashes and you can take it off with warm water. A lot of people like it. I have never had luck with it, but this is supposed to be really, really good. So we'll go ahead and give it a try. So that was my Ulta haul. Guys, have you been buying anything? What's good? What's good in skincare? I would love to know what you guys use, especially if you have dry skin only because I have dry skin. But um, yeah, share with me no matter what. If you like the video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. We talk about it all in the attic. And if there's anything you want me to talk about, you can always let me know in the comments. You can follow me over at Kimi Teresa on Instagram. If it's something that I can talk about, I absolutely will. Guys, I just want to show you something. Okay, so before I filmed this video, little Maggie made a guest appearance. And then while I was filming, she went to go get groomed. Let me show you. <laughs> she the same dog. She looks so cute. She has the zoomies a little, guys. Whenever she has any kind, anything done, like any kind of grooming or any bath, she gets the zoomies. So. <laughs> She's a little out of control. Okay. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. And until next time, as always, make sure you take good care of yourself so you can take care of someone else. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.